At the end of the 20th century, a massive museum of contemporary art opened to great acclaim in an old New England mill town. The museum, the Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art, known as Mass Mocha, is housed in a renovated complex in North Adams. In the same buildings where thousands and thousands of local residents had previously worked producing electronic components for Sprague Electric Company. When Sprague closed its doors in North Adams in 1986, its former employees found themselves in the same position as millions of factory workers all over the Northeast and Midwest, out of work and facing an uncertain future. Supporters of the museum argued that MOCA would be the catalyst for a vibrant post-industrial transition. The more I got to know the area, the more I understood about Mass MOCA, and I clearly understood then the effect that Mass MOCA would have. I mean, it was absolutely obvious to me. When we came and we saw Mass MOCA, it was very, very exciting. I think for us, we glimpsed a future that was really a good future for our family, but then also for artists. Is the museum and the tourist economy it attracts enough to significantly improve the lives of the residents of North Adams? This week, I took a lope through North Adams, I walked. And what is very discouraging when you talk about economic development is that there are so many storefronts that are closed. So the rest of North Adams, away from this little cluster where Mocha is, does not look like something that is developing. The average person who comes to the Berkshires, they look at the tourist guides, they look on the internet, uh, they're going to you know, go out to dinner, they, they have all these plans. Okay, so they go to Mass Mocha, they say, oh, we got to go to Mass Mocha. So they go and they tour the museum, they might go to a performance at Mass Mocha. They walk out of Mass Mocha at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and they're tempted to go into town. We've got to make dinner at the, the, you know, such and such an hour, you know, at the Williams Inn, or whatever they're going to go. We have to get to dinner by 5.30. And then we've got a play we're going to tonight, you know, and such and such a thing. How much time do they have to, to fiddle around with? Our best hope for a brighter future rests with the power of ordinary people organizing and mobilizing for social change. All the movements, the civil rights movement, the women's rights movement, it all started with a small group of people that just tried to make a change. Great boy!